Begin by installing the lever arm. Press the lever arm feet together until they touch. Hang it from the stainless steel tube on the inlet valve to confirm proper spacing. Position the lever arm so the cross member rests beneath the flat spot on the main tube. Insert one leg into a square opening, keeping the foot near the outer edge. Then roll the other leg over the main tube into the opposite opening. Next, insert the balance spacer with the O-ring and spring into the stainless steel tube on the inlet valve and stop once you reach the O-ring. Apply pressure to keep the lever arm upward. Then properly align the wings found on the inlet body and insert the inlet valve into the main tube. If the lever lifts when pressure is applied, it's installed correctly. Squeeze the lever legs to remove the spring and spacer. Shake the main tube. The valve should stay in place. Reinstall the spring and balance spacer as a unit. Insert a lubricated transfer pin into the end of the balance spacer. Thread the flex knob assembly by the adjustment packing nut, not the flex knob itself, until three threads are visible. Confirm the flex knob is turned all the way out counterclockwise. Install the bearing clip on the outside of the main tube. The hex features on the bearing clip will align with the hex features on the main tube. Use your thumb to press from one end to the other, ensuring proper alignment and fit. Rotate the flex knob clockwise into the regulator body 12 full turns. Then, Rotate it counterclockwise three full turns. Insert the lubricated adjustment nipple with the O-ring into the main tube. Finally, using a flat blade screwdriver, thread the nipple in slowly. As soon as you see any movement or a slight drop of the lever, stop threading. The 455 main tube is ready to be installed into the regulator body.